But soft is something Simon certainly isn't, as Super Nanny witnesses the moment he returns from the gym. What are you doing now? Get out. It's clear to Super Nanny that for Simon at least the boys do behave. And later that evening, Super Nanny sees once more how Simon keeps his house in order. What are you doing in the window? I want to tell What are you doing in the window? Excuse me, boy, you and all. Reese, you're dragging a pen on the floor. Put your pen up when you're near the carpet and take it in your bedroom, please. Go on, Lewis, shut up with your lip. Oh, no pen on the floor. So with the boys banished to their bedroom, Super Nanny talks to Mum and Dad about their evening routine. You go to work till what time in the morning? Who's getting about half, ah, three quarts of four. But I can't get in bed because Lewis and Reese are in the bed. So you fall asleep on the couch yeah, and, when and you're all, in the bed? Yeah, and when these all get up, that's when I get in my bed. Uh, their bed, I should say. Don't call it my bed because it isn't my bed. Don't you want to be in your own bed? Yeah, dead right I do. And when Simon leaves for work, Steph is once again left to cope alone. Mom! Just hang on a minute. <laughs> it's clear that as soon as their father's back is turned, these two terrors are an accident just waiting to happen. <laughs> Everything's very suffocated for them. They're not allowed to play with their toys downstairs. And it creates so much mayhem for when Simon leaves because the children just go wild when he's not around. During her observation, Super Nanny noticed Dorm and Dad's no-nonsense approach with the boys. So to soften him up, she introduces doting Dad time, an hour a day designed to help him relax and let his boys be boys. Wait your turn. Dad is explaining... Give me that. I'll tell you what, carry on, Reese. You end up breaking it, you carry on. OK, impulsiveness shows an emotional immaturity. So what we're going to be doing is developing that. Uh -huh. Things start off well with Dad keeping calm. But you have to take him out carefully so that you don't make that noise, OK? It's not long before one of the boys loses interest. Oh, he's made a noise. Good try. Come on, give him a good try. And storms Reese. off. This is about encouragement now, all right? You did a good try, son. Let's come back in, all right? Okay. Bring him back in. All right. Wait there, Reese. Don't touch anything, please. That's all part of the game. Come on. We'll try again in a minute when it's your go. Come here, then. I'll carry you down in the front room. And it makes that noise. You have to let somebody else have a go, don't you? But despite Dad's best efforts, Reese just won't play nicely. Reese, I'm not going to tell you it again. Can I give a warning? Right, Reese, a warning now. Next time, and you're on the penalty spot, OK? <laughs> Reese, can you sit up, please? I'm thinking he ain't listening. So off to the spot he goes. You bring him straight to the penalty spot. You put him on it. You yeah. come down to his level. Right. Right, right down. And you explain him why he's on this penalty spot. Right, you didn't listen to me. So on here now, you can stay in here for five minutes. And stay in there for five minutes, please. Walk away. Oh. So whilst Dad and Lewis continue their game, Reese is left to reflect on his bad behaviour. If I get it out, I get to keep it. OK. Is that fair? So which one and after one? five minutes, it's time for Reese to come off. Right, Reese. Right, come here. Come here. He's there. He's there. Reese, you know why he was put on the spot, don't you? For not listening. What do you say? Just let him. What do you say? I want what do you say? What do you say when you've been naughty? Pardon? Well, come on, then. And a squeaky apology from Reese means everyone can return to enjoy their game. So do it with my eyes closed. You dealt with a discipline and recaptured it all back again. With Reese. Okay. Okay, which was great. And it does show that they do need that time with you to be able to learn how to share and play a game and okay. have that quality time with you. The boys really ain't that bad. They just needed a very effective discipline technique to be put into practice, and that's what's happening now.